I'm Dr. Craig Waskirk. Today we're going to discuss Cox technique for flexion stretching and decompression for the spine. This is good for the low back, mid back, and for the cervical region or the neck. Uh, this is good. This is helpful for disc decompression, disc herniations, spinal stenosis, low back pain, leg pain, leg weakness. Uh, neck pain, uh, arm pain, arm uh, weakness, pins and needles, uh, anything of that sort. This is a very comfortable technique and it is also uh, hands-on and very uh, precise and doctor hands-on controlled. Uh, I already have the patient down on a Cox table and we're going to show you the procedure for this. Alright, so I am checking uh, the patients uh, to see if they're on the table properly. We're going to bring up the handle, unlock the table. It moves in several different directions and I am going to locate the lower part of the lumbar spine and I'm taking a tissue pull and starting at the fifth lumbar. And what we're trying to accomplish is decrease the amount of compression on the disc. The disc is that soft tissue disc that is between the joints uh, of your vertebrae in your spine between the vertebrae and they are there are a lot of nerve receptors on them decreasing the amount of compression on them will decrease the uh, amount of pain a patient is having or other symptoms what we're doing here is what's attached to uh, all these uh, the bones in your spine or all the muscles so we are very specifically stretching the muscles ever so slightly so they relax the areas around those areas of pain or problems. So we're starting with flexion. We're just going straight down just a little bit. And with my left hand, I am pressing forward and down. With my right hand on the handle, I'm just going down and up. And we also move this into a lateral position on both sides, left and right. And we can do what is called circumduction. It is like a figure eight. And again, there are several joints of the bones of your spine and these move or articulate in different ranges. So we are moving the lower part of this table to stretch these different muscle groups in order to relieve the amount of compression. If there is a disc issue and now I am moving up ever so slightly to up another level of the spine. If there was a herniation, the disc can either move straight posteriorly towards the spinal cord, or it can move straight back and lateral towards the nerves. And the nerves are coming off of the cord, and they are moving through a hole. This hole or foramina is not a hole in the bone, but it is a hole that is formed from a top vertebrae and a bottom vertebrae. If there is more pressure, the hole can become more, can become smaller. And what we're trying to do is ever so slightly increase that size. This the hole. This is this is just to demonstrate it. We're actually talking about making changes in millimeters, ever so slightly but extremely effective. 
depending on where the issue is, we're going to be starting above a herniation or where the problem is itself. So we're taking this through different ranges and then what we're going to do is for the decompression this table will move straight back. So the part of the table that is under the patient's thighs is going to move straight back. For the first time we're not going to strap in the legs and we're going to set on a slow setting. There are no current issues and when this comes out I'm applying pressure and when I release I am adding pressure in a forward motion. And this is all adjustable, which is wonderful about this technique in that the amount of pressure I'm using with my hand on the patient can be adjusted. Uh, depending on what's going on, I can lighten it up or I can move my hand's placement, again, for comfort if uh, the patient is in pain or has other issues going on. I can also move, make the table move a little faster depending on what the issue is. Cox Technique has been out for over 40 years. It is still highly clinically studied and is extremely comfortable and effective in relieving low back pain for a patient of any age.